What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be going over the best coaching adjustments to use in Mad 23. This is a video I kind of always do to start the year. And it's just because, you know, a lot of people, you know, these little coaching adjustments can really help you win a game. It can set your defense up in the right spot. Most of these are really for defense. On offense, I will go over that too, but it's not really a lot. This is really mostly for defense. That's where the coaching adjustments really matter. So enough of the talking. Let's get straight into it. First uh, uh, adjustment you see here we have is auto flip defense. You can turn it on or off. You're going to want to keep this on. Basically what happens is, let's say he comes out in bunch, flips it. Uh, it'll be easier for you to help flip your defense with that and it's not a hassle All right, even though people don't really do that as much anymore because they kind of made it uh, ass So you don't have to worry about it as much anymore um, Auto alignment you can either have this on default base or man So basically how auto alignment works is let's say a guy comes out in five wide and you have it on default Basically how it'll work is it'll just have everybody aligned up on like how every man is like it almost in a way I guess maybe kind of look like man, but it's really not uh, If you put it on base, it'll just have your defense come out how it looks in a player So you, however like it looks in a player It's gonna come out like that no matter what no matter how his offense is lined up and where guys are at uh, if you put it on man I'll be honest, I don't do that. Just don't do that, all right? Uh, but if you're gonna, I would recommend just leaving it on default. Uh, there is certain situations where you wanna put it on base, but if you don't really know how to run your defense, then I'd recommend just leaving that on default. But I think, uh, me personally, I'm gonna start running mine on base because of what they did to nickel normal, but we'll see. Uh, ball in the air. Now, in the past, I remember way back in the day, I used to always put it on play ball and things like that. But what I've seriously, you know, noticed is you know it just seems like this setting never really does anything if you want to you could put it on play ball if you really want to but i feel like it just really it doesn't matter i mean obviously you could put it on swap ball and trust me they're gonna swap the ball every time you don't want to do that if you do you put it on play the receiver then he's just gonna you know worry about the receiver I, I just always recommend leaving this on balanced do not touch it just because i feel like it doesn't it they honestly just don't do anything they really don't uh, cornerbacks matchup you want to leave this on balance i'll be honest unless because you know man coverage this is a very man coverage every game unless you want to put this on by speed if you put it on by speed make sure you're running a lot of man coverage because let's say you come out in zone coverage you put this on on by speed it's going to mess your entire defense up so i wouldn't recommend don't do overall don't do height route running a depth chart any of that if you're going to change it and you're thinking about putting it on by speed make sure that you're only really running man coverage but besides that if you're not doing that leave that on balance uh option on defense so what this basically means is let's say um you're going against lamar jackson he's hit you with read options you're like man i just can't get my end to contain it all you got to do is put on conservative and that dn will just sit there and wait for him but that does mean like inside zones and stuff that dn on that right edge isn't really gonna like dive in there and go after it uh if you put it on aggressive it's gonna be the opposite so that dn is gonna crash in every time so if they're doing read options he's really gonna be able to take off with it so i always just leave this on balance to start the game but if there if someone is actually ha having he's hitting me with read options and stuff like that then i put on conservative uh strip ball i always leave this on balance i, I would not put this on aggressive because you put this on aggressive your guys are going to fall on the ground a lot of broken tackles are going to happen don't do it and definitely don't put it on conservative don't do that just just leave that on balance tackling i leave this on balance it's kind of the same thing if you put it on aggressive you know you're probably you probably will get a lot more hit sticks because hit sticks are crazy in this game but there are going to be times where broken tackles do happen uh that this one's up to you if you want to see a little bit more hit sticks from your ai go ahead but just know there's you know guys who can't hit stick or trying this or even guys who can hit stick or trying to sometimes you know this can like i said lead to more broken tackles person i just leave it on balance now the zone drops the zone drops why should before we do zone drops let's scroll all the way to the bottom you see where it says zone coverage default and match so basically how it works is you were match coverage uh i don't know if a lot of you guys know match concepts but let's say you come out in a cover three match but you don't have your zone coverage actually in match, then the match doesn't matter in order. Like you can't turn any play into match. First how it works is you gotta come out in a match play. So cover four match, cover three match, something like that. Then you have to go to your coaching adjustments and change zone coverage to match in order just for the match to work. And so that's how it works. I don't run match, so I always leave it on default. If you're a guy that runs match, that's just basically how that works. So I don't run match personally. So like I said, I leave it on default, but the zone drops this year. So Basically, it's the same as it was last year. Me, personally, I run a lot of cover, too. That's kind of what I do, but I do a lot of adjustments out of it. So, 
Um, sometimes I turn it into a cover three. I do a lot of masking, disguising, things like that, right? Usually what I put my flats on in the past is uh, Mad, you know, 21 and 22. I'd put them on 20, but I feel like this year, I need to put them on 25 just because the zones places were so good this year. I've been putting these bad boys on 25 and they're playing everything. So that's kind of what I've been doing with that. Uh, my curl flats, I always put on five. That's just what it is. But I've noticed I, there's been some times where I feel like I've had to put these bad boys on zero because I feel like when they're playing five, they're really playing five. So uh, sometimes I alternate between putting the, uh, my curl flats on zero and putting them on five. And by the way, the cloud flats are like the, uh, the scion blue circle. And the curl flats are the purple, uh, the purple zones, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know. Hook curls are obviously, you know, the yellow ones, the hook curls. Uh, and the, and Mad 22, I used to always put these on five, but honestly, this year, I've been putting these ones on default. I've kind of switched it up. I'm going with default right now. Um, it's up to you. If they're hitting you with a lot of very short drags, quick in routes to the running back, then I would say put these bad boys on five. But for now, I've been rocking these on default, so that's kind of what I'm doing my zone drops. Um... If you're a guy that plays cover three, like I said, I play cover two. So why did I, I don't know why I just reset my zone drops, but that's that bad. Right, since I run cover two a lot, I put my cloud flats on 25. If you're a guy that's playing like a lot of cover three, I would switch this. Put your curl flats on 25 and your cloud flats on, um, your, cause your, yeah, your cloud flats on five, because when you put a hard flat out there, then that'll be five. If, because this is, if you're playing, uh, cover three, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's a little different i'd recommend flipping it around like that so that's kind of how i rock my zone drops um i guess we could go over on offense and just look at their coaching adjustments really you don't really want to touch anything over there but we'll just go take a little peek all right so we're on the coaching adjustments for offense and i don't touch it like deep cast pitching you you don't want to change this to aggressive conservative just leave that on balance intermediate pass catching same thing leave this on balance and blocking if you want, you can put this on aggressive, but in the past, what happens is you you will get holding calls. That they will call you for holdings, and I go live. You get a holding in Madden 23 to weight defenses and how easy it is to get to the quarterback. Your drive might be done. So definitely leave that on balanced and ball carrier. Actually, this is the only one I could say you could change is if you want to put this on conservative, so you fumble left, like maybe it's. A minute left you're trying to run a clock out don't want to turn over you can put that on conservative you won't be able to juke spin or anything like that truck stiff arm uh but it you'll make it'll help and make sure you don't fumble if you put it on aggressive i don't know why you want to do that it just gives you a higher chance to fumble and you can already fumble in this game so out of all these i say if you want to change ball care to conservative when you really need to that's about it but that's pretty much it for coaching adjustments in mad 23 that's really all you need to know if there's any questions you guys got go ahead and comment them down below i also i do twitch i stream we stream every single night playing mad 23 if you want to go tune into that link to that is in the description go ahead and drop a follow but till then that's pretty much gonna do it though boys like comment subscribe man and your boy is out